Sandy Graham and Defong, West Africa, answering Tim. Tim seems to be having these, uh, I don't know, Tim, he's an attorney, I think. Tim seems to have a bunch of questions about doomsday stuff and uh, survivalist techniques and stuff. And I, I think this is things we dwell on after life is really good or we read too much. Um, he wants to know if World War III broke out, the internet went down, which country would I like to be in? And then he also wants to know, he also said preface, he says of course he knows that if I was in a certain continent, it would be, if World War II breaks down, the internet goes down, uh, where would I like to be? I suppose... I would like to be in America. I mean, I really don't care because it just seems uh, like, of course, what what you're going to do is, if World War Two bre three breaks out, I'm going to go to a small city and hang out. Uh, I'm going to first, wherever I'm at, in whatever country would I am at, I'm going to go to a small village, very small, and maybe 30,000, not, not really small because they can gossip too much. Gossip is what gets you killed. Gossip, everybody starts talking, say he's a spy, he's a spy, he's a spy, and then they kill you. Uh, it's much more prone in, a, in a primitive areas, um, small cities, hillbilly type people, right? People that don't read, the educated sort of protect you, and I'm some, I'm going to set, I'm going to probably go try to live with somebody that is uh, influential, the alpha male of the village, and try to be their best friend until I figure out the situation. Then I'm going to move city to city, uh, one day at a time. Uh, which country would I like to be in if uh, World War III? Obviously, America, because it's going to protect me. I have no rights in any other country, so they can just come whack me, right? Uh, the United States is, I'm going to blend in and I can go hide in Orland, Indiana, 400 people and nobody's going to kill me. Uh, I don't really know what the internet, I mean, what the internet's got to do with anything, but if the internet goes down, if the telephones go down, if our infrastructures go down, we're in bad shape. That means if the internet goes down, probably some nuclear bombs. But, uh, the best places to hang out is, of course, going to be America, Germany, uh, no, America, Australia, or England. Uh, if I'm in Africa, the best place to hang out would probably be hmm, a tough one. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I'm tempted to say Ghana, Ghana and Kenya just because of the communication skills that I could actually talk in English. Uh, obviously, anything, you know, who's attacking, right? So if I'm uh, being attacked by China, I'm going to go, you know, generally what Americans do is they go straight for the embassy, let the embassy take care of them and get out of the country. Uh, I really can't tell you the answer because the variables are going to change and uh, what you have to do, but at the end of the day, what I have to do is stay away from the, the gossip, okay? So to stay safe, you, you stay away from people that are in huddles that are mocking, mockery. Mockery is a horrible thing. Probably the worst case I ever had was in Germany, walking across the park, because the, the white people are incredibly violent. Think about it. Germans killed 55 million people in World War II. The blacks, they just, they don't have guns, they don't have stuff, they don't do anything. But it's still dangerous when people are mocking you. Um, I don't know of any place that's incredibly safe to hang out on the planet other than my own country. 
So what I would do is probably work my way back to my own country somehow. And these things don't normally sneak up on you. So if World War was really looking like it was going to break out, I would be on a plane going back to America. September 11th, I was in Belgium. Thing hits the thing. Um, I, I flew back to America. I think I was planning it anyway, but I was grateful. I was plan flying back to America because I didn't really understand what was going on. When you're confused, you go back to your home. Um, America is, contrary to this, I don't know what people think. America is incredibly safe. They protect your rights. I have zero rights here. If they want to come into this whole hotel right now and whack me, they can do it. Uh, in America, everybody's going to be watching, they're going to be calling the police, everybody's going to call the press, everybody's going to complain. Here, everybody just keep their mouth shut and let them kill me. And that's about 90% of the planet. We have no rights. The other 10% sort of have the press. It's, it is the freedom of the press. And there is no freedom of the press in 90% of the countries. I think in, in the Philippines, they killed, every year they kill like one, 100 journalists. <laughs> okay. Count the number of journalists that get killed in the country, and that'll tell you how free the press is. Okay, that's Tim's question. Tim, it's not really important. Tonight, let's